Today on Impulse, I'm back down with Justin to talk about Red Dead Online and whether or not it's worth your time and patience in 2019. It's been officially out of the air quotes beta since May now, roughly before E3. And uh, I didn't think I'd ever have to say this, but maybe they should have just stayed in beta? Yeah, it's kind of strange that it's in the shape it is still, considering GTA Online, right? You would imagine that, I mean, that came out after GTA 5, so we already sort of been through the cycle of releasing the game. Online comes yeah. later. And you would expect it to be in a better state, but it, I don't know. In ways, it doesn't feel like it is entirely, but we'll get into that, I suppose. It's nowhere near as feature-rich, which is surprising, because you think they could have just borrowed a ton of ideas from GTA Online, but yeah. they just chose not to. And in some instances, I maybe understand why, but then there's blatantly obvious ones that I'm just really miffed about. But anyways, let's get like the good stuff out of the way first. Of course. For all intents and purposes the single player of Red Dead Redemption 2 is fantastic. It's an experience I won't forget for probably a long, long time, and one that I'm still working my way through. But, uh, in terms of, I guess, online, the thing that immediately pops out to my mind is the presentation of it all. And it feels super cinematic from the moment you're creating a character and breaking out of prison, to even, like, little details, like when you win a PvP mode, your character is, like, standing tall while the other players are, like, in caskets. Shit like that, I really appreciate. Yeah. And I guess the big, you know, like, massive set piece, like, co-op story mission stuff. Yeah, I wish they went, um, I don't know, a little harder into the, the cinematic aspect of it. Because the story missions were fun enough, and the set pieces were fun uh, and enjoyable. But as far as the actual story itself went, I feel like it has the potential to be interesting, but it didn't actually ever get there. It was more of just an excuse to have these cool giant set pieces, yeah. unlike the single player Red Dead that had its cake and ate it too, where you had these big giant set pieces, but the story itself is also pretty engaging and fun. Uh, to be fully fair, the, the air quotes story in, no, it's not done. Sorry, in Red Dead Online, yeah. it's not done yet, we're still still working our way through here in this game that came out of beta, I guess. But, but uh, to the point we're up to now, I don't feel like it has um, achieved its full potential. Remember. <laughs> like We wrapped up the story stuff ages ago, like prior to E3, I think, and I can't remember much of anything, honestly, in well, terms of names yeah. of characters, reasons why we're doing things. It's, hey, it's we, out of my head. I right? got the overall story, like the gist, right? You got Mrs. LeClerc or whatever, her husband died, she thinks there's some sort of conspiracy, and you're hunting down the people that did it. But, like, the details? I don't remember either. It just boils Didn't down like you go me. somewhere, you kill everyone, they don't really say a whole lot as to the, uh, as to the details of this conspiracy. You keep moving along. Yeah. And then at one point you rob a bank, which is kind of cool, I guess. No, yeah, that was fun. I enjoyed the um, the shootout, like the, the final mission, at least the time at the time we were playing at um, Fort Mercer. That was a lot of fun, I thought. They throw in some neat like neat ideas, like morality choices you can make on yeah. whether or not you kill specific characters or help them, stuff like that. Like, that's neat. And I wish there was more of that, and I get why it's a challenge to do more right, of that. Right, that's basically asking for a full-blown co-op story mode. Yeah, it's a lot of content to make, and it's hard to make yeah. as well. But, uh, like, outside of that, they're, they're, once again, like, dabbling in more of the same stuff that is more or less in the single player, that I wish was, you know, more of it was in the, the multiplayer. Like, the random encounter-based missions are neat. Like, every now and then you'll stumble on somebody asking for help. Like, there's this one great example where I was, like, hunting in the swamp, and there was this lady, like, trapped on the back of her wagon, surrounded by crocodiles or alligators or whatever. You know, I don't shoot them all. Like, stuff like that's kind of fun. Yeah. But uh, as for the actual, like, multiplayer aspects of Red Dead Online, boy oh boy does it suck. <laughs> yeah, the, the cool stuff from single player that they brought into multiplayer feels lesser in this multiplayer environment because of the rest of multiplayer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like, right off the bat, there's still no option to make a private lobby or session. It just sucks. You just can't, like, start up maybe, like, a private session between you and a friend. I kind of, like, see why they do it that way. There's some yeah. stranger missions that involve potentially the potential of other players attacking you. You're playing as outlaws, right? Rare. So yeah. you have to have that possibility of other outlaws screwing you over, I suppose. But 
they do that too often, and I don't mean in the mission context. I mean, oh boy, lots yeah. of people, you know, just kill you because why not, right? What? Yeah. <laughs> what uh, else is there to do? Around the time when it came out of beta, when the player base was a lot more active, even going into places like Blackwater or Saint Denis or whatever, it was basically a death sentence unless you had defensive mode on. Yes. You basically had to go in there, go to what you wanted to do, and then leave immediately. Otherwise, you were going to get shot over and over and over. Or trampled by a horse, or, or having your horse killed. Well, you it was kind of a mess. You mentioned getting trampled by a horse, and that's one of the fun things about <laughs> defensive mode, isn't it? Yeah, even if you have defensive mode turned on, if somebody tramples you with a horse, it takes you out of it. I guess as an act of like, oh, you're now hostile. And then they just shoot you while you're just laying on the ground after being trampled, so... <laughs> That's a lot of fun, let me tell you. Yeah, it's a really <laughs> brilliant idea. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, in terms of, like, the player base, though, as of this recording, like, as of Jul July 2019, it has fallen off a cliff. It went from, like, where I went into Blackwater, and, like I said, I was I was scared to even spend, like, five seconds in Blackwater, to going to Blackwater and maybe seeing, like, one other person who's in defensive mode just selling pelts. Ghost and town. Then leaving. I get why, though. Like, I get why people have fallen off this game. Like, once you wrap up the story stuff, which only takes maybe a couple hours at most if you just plow through it, all that you're really left with is that open-world aspect, the the various PvP modes, which there are plenty, and I guess, like, the PvE, like, stranger missions and, and tasks that you can do that basically all boil down to, like, I don't know, go find this wagon that somebody stole. You'll, you'll, yeah. be, you'll be getting back a lot of wagons. There's a lot of criticism of GTA 4, I remember, for being a game where you're just, like, an errand boy, like, drive here, do, like, you know, do this, and I feel like it's way worse here in, in some yeah. ways, where it's always just... It felt like half the stranger missions we did were go here, get this wagon, bring it back. Yeah, if there was the odd creative one, like, hunting guys out in the mountainous woods. Like, oh, you don't find these, like, dudes that, like, rat it on me. Go kill them. They're not, they're not displayed on the mini-map. Yeah, and you get the choice out. of, like, stealth or, like, yeah. uh, going loud, which is cool. Uh, that kind of stuff is neat, but um, I felt like a large amount of it wasn't that, and it feels squandered that a lot of these strangers are, like, characters you know from the Stranger Missions in the single player, or even characters from Red Dead 1 that you didn't see uh, yeah, in, in the single player, but you don't really interact with them at all they just you yeah. go up to them and they're like oh you're looking for work go find my wagon and that's like the end of it you know <laughs> basically that that about sums up like every body mission yes it's like i don't know go hunt an animal because like my dad's old and stuff i don't want him to go out there and hunt a bear like you i do it i didn't right. get any cool interesting insights about bonnie at this time that i didn't get from red dead one already you know no you yeah. know and even like tiny little annoyances like fast travel costs money so <laughs> You'll constantly be burning money over the dumbest things. Like, you'll need to constantly, re like, refill your ammo, even during PvP modes. If you use up all of your ammo while playing in a PvP mode, you still have to go buy it all. Yeah. It's just it's something. Like, if you never play the game, really. Like, you only play Deathmatch, and you don't play PvE or, or Free Roam and that kind of stuff. You just want to boot it up and play Deathmatch. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a time where you boot it up and play Deathmatch, and you're out of ammo because you just weren't paying attention to that, and you assumed they'd give you ammo because it's Deathmatch. And uh, sometimes you'll get invited to, like, a free roam PvP event. And if you don't select which weapons you want in your weapon wheel, like the preferred stuff you like, like a specific shotgun or a specific rifle, it'll put you into that PvP mode with what you had in your weapon wheel. So every now and then I'd join a, uh, you know, I'd join a PvP mode, and I'd have, like, my bow <laughs> and a varmint rifle <laughs> and my revolvers. And I'm like, oh, great, kill me. <sighs> like, PvP... Boy, let me tell you, PvP itself is a train wreck in Red Dead Online. Oh, yeah. I remember enjoying it in Red Dead 1, so I was interested here, but after playing it a little bit, I was uh, very disappointed. Out of all the new updates that they keep adding in terms of modes, they're all PvP-based. Yeah. And then there's other like minor issues like crashing, but that's that's since been patched for the most part in my experience. It basically boils down to like PvP, it's, it's who can tap L2 and R2 quicker. That's the gist of it. And maybe go into, like, Deadeye and get a headshot with the lock on. And it's weird because there's no free aim option whatsoever. So there's no free aim, like, lobbies or modes to join or anything. So you're... Even if you want a free aim experience, it's not here. You have to rely on this hard lock, auto lock system that I just I despise in PvP. Which I, I know that isn't the case in GTA Online, at least on the PC. I, I know you can... Even on PS4. Yeah, I assume so. I wasn't, I wasn't entirely sure. Um... 
But I know, yeah, I, I know that's the case with uh, GTA Online. I don't remember with Red Dead 1, but I feel like yeah, there was options. Red Dead 1. Yeah, there, there was a free yeah, that's what I thought. option to join. It was, like, it was like hardcore mode or whatever. Yeah. Where you could join like hardcore free roam, hardcore PvP, stuff like that. So it's weird that that's not here. Because, like, the Rockstar aiming system by default is not aim assist. It is lock on. <laughs> it yeah, is. It's a hard lock. It targets And all you really you. need to do is tap L2, slightly move up a little bit to get that head. Go to Deadeye to get that 100% accuracy. Bang. Headshot. You're dead. And combine that with a lack of balancing. It's a fucking mess. There have been matches where I have joined in and there is one guy on the other team with a bolt action rifle and explosive ammo. Let me tell you, he's dominating the match. Just suddenly you're hit with explosive <laughs> ammo and you're dead, no matter where on the body. Like, it doesn't even need to tart at the head at that point. Yeah, there, there's such a small margin for skill as is, and that just diminishes it, like, even further. Yeah, every now and then I'll be in a match with, like, a bunch of people who are, like, level 10, and then I look at the other team, and there's, like, three level 50-plus dudes, a couple of 100-plus dudes, and I'm like, oh, we're screwed. <laughs> and, like, I could tolerate certain modes. That, like, there was some neat little modes, like these miniature Battle Royale things. There's one specific mode. It's basically a mini battle royale where players are scattered all around the, the, this part of the map. It, you can't see them on the mini map. And your your only weapon is the tomahawk. That stuff is neat. So you're just like sneaking around looking for somebody with a tomahawk. But here's the catch. Even if you really enjoy a specific like game type or mode in PvP, you can't vote on it again. When the, when the match ends, and unlike GTA Online where you can vote for whatever you want to do next when the round ends, there's none of that. It's just randomized. So, like, every now and then you'll be put into, like, a mode you like, and then the next you'll be in this giant free-for-all shit fest where everyone just kills each other. And during those, I would specifically, like, just go off to somewhere to the side and, like, wait behind a tree for it to end. In the hopes that I would get maybe a mode I liked, like a team-based mode or that kind of battle royale mode. You didn't even get the chance to vote to explain your distrust. You couldn't even <laughs> voice... Your, 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 your distaste for such for such a thing. You just had to well, take you, it. Well, you can vote uh, if you liked it or if you didn't. Well, yeah, each, fine. But I don't think that means shit all. No, else. you can't <laughs> vote like, hey, one person's voting for this mode next or one person's po voting for this, you know. But, like, again, like GTA Online, it's, I don't know why the feature's missing, right? Yeah. And to go into, like, more some of the technical stuff, like, you know, it, unbalanced stuff is one thing, but even the maps are so generic and lame. It's like, I don't know, here's a PvP mode in an Emerald Ranch, and I feel like that's kind of an issue with the PvP in this game. There's not a whole lot of good locations for it at all. There's stuff like Fort Mercer, that's fine, whatever. But then, yeah, then every now and then you'll just put in a PvP mode that's like, I don't know, here's Valentine. Run around Valentine shooting each other. Yeah, and it's the same map as the single-player location, except... Maybe there's a couple bags in the way. Yeah, <laughs> there's like sandbags scattered everywhere. It's not like that for some cover. The, the weapon wheel feels kind of slow and sloppy. There's a terrible net code with like weird damage lag. Like every now and then, I would go full dead eye on somebody. Like all five of my bolt action rounds in the sky. Unload on him. Nothing would happen. And I'd go, well, what's going on? And then he would get behind a, like a tree real quick. And then I realized, oh, the game didn't keep up with him getting behind <laughs> that tree when it happened. The tree blocked Great. it. And then, uh, People complain about, like, the animation speeds a lot in Red Dead Redemption 2. And, like, in the single player, it never bothered me. I was always, like, weirdly miffed by people complaining about that stuff. Like, that stuff never really got to me until I played Red Dead Online's PvP. Yes. And maybe I see the complaints now of, like, these slow-ass animations at times. Because there are times where, like, I would die just because like, I'm just trying to climb over a thing. So. Yeah, my character's taken 15 years to get behind this rock, and in the meantime, he got yeah. shot once, died, and now I'm respawning. Like, And, like I said, they keep doubling down on PvP as well. Like, whenever there is usually a new update, it's chances are it's, like, some clothing and, like, a new PvP mode. I'm like, oh, great, I'm not playing that, I guess. And uh, even, like, the horse racing. The horse racing is pretty dumb fun at times. Like, just watching people take the one turn at the, the start of the race, everyone crashes, and usually the one guy that survives wins that's a problem with just about every racing game ever but they all have solutions to fix it and i just don't think rockstar cares at all <laughs> same yeah. with gta they don't and with horses though it's care. extra funny oh for sure but then there's like other really weird issues where sometimes i'll join a horse race just to have some fun and it'll load me in to a match that's like already started so I'm, like, at the, at the starting line, and, like, the, the thing already started, like, I guess maybe a couple of seconds ago, but they're ahead of me. 
and I'm not catching up. <laughs> they all have SSDs that in their PlayStation 4, and you're sitting there with a hard drive. I guess. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Like, every now and then that would happen to me, and that would really just kill the whole race for me, because I knew I was yeah, in last place anyways. So. That might be the worst mode ever to have players connecting at the wrong times. De definitely. And, yeah, like I said, to, to kind of end on the note of where we started, I am kind of shocked they took this thing out of beta. Yeah. Because it could have just done with having the, the beta tag on there. And, like, and that's the thing, too. They were getting so much flack for having it even be in beta. Mm -hmm. But now I kind of get why, because it definitely doesn't feel like a finished Yeah, part. now this feels worse, though. <laughs> yeah. And I can't help but feel like if Red Dead Online launched with this game, when this game came out, that Metacritic would be looking way different. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, any that's any true. reviewer that would have spent like a couple hours on this would have been like, oh, this is, this is bad. That's sort of a, a thing you see sometimes where it's like, I, I've seen reviews where like if a game has a good single player and a bad multiplayer, it has worse reviews than a game, you know, that just has single player, right? It should... Yeah. So, I, maybe that was their legitimate strategy. Like, they, they maybe, you know? I would not doubt it that they that they knew this thing was unfinished, and they were like, well, let's just, you know, release it a month from now, like like, you do, like we did with GTA V and GTA Online. Yeah. And then, to double down on that, let's put the word beta on there. Easy peasy. If Fortnite can be in beta forever, why not us? But they didn't. They, yeah, they, they honestly, pulled it out. that... That's the part that kind of baffles me, is that they should have actually kept this in beta, yeah. for all intents and purposes. Because right now, it still feels unfinished in terms of content, and the content that's here is not that great. It, like, if you're going to play Red Dead Online, the only thing I recommend doing is going to the co-op story missions. I mean, if you like online poker, <laughs> you Yeah, you know what? That. that is true. They did add poker recently. I'm, I'm a sucker for online poker. Um, they could add the most... Bare, well, I mean, they kind of did add the most bare bones poker ever, uh, <laughs> and I'll enjoy it. So <laughs> it's got that, I guess. So Red Dead Online is it worth playing in 2019? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. I wouldn't. Um, I don't really like GTA Online that much either. So I'm, I'm very against the grind in general. But I would ten times over much quickly pop in GTA Online than I ever would Red Dead 2 Online. That's kind of the thing, though. GTA Online is so feature rich. Yeah. You can kind of find the things you want to do to play in that. In this, like, I ran out of things to do. Like, I put in probably well over 100 hours into this. I hit level 50. I got my gold trophy because I'm an idiot. <laughs> and there was a point there where I got so miserable and bored of playing this. Where I would just, I would hop on. I'd do my dumb daily stuff, like skin two bison or whatever. And then I would, and then I would just go to Thieves Landing and shoot everybody ride away real quick, ride back, keep shooting everybody, level up, and then stop playing. And I would do a one level a day and hope for the best. So that's that's Red Dead Online. It's, it's a grind, and uh, there's not a whole lot of fun things to do. But it's got cowboys and poker, so... 